Hello folks, uh, this is a continuation from my other video about some parts that I changed on my uh, E-Machines EL1333 and um, I have installed it, it doesn't look as convincing as I initially thought of it but I was just trying to get this video out as fast as I could um, but uh, if you look at my previous videos you can see what parts I put in here and how I make things work. But um, just a quick look. Uh, this is like a little cardboard shroud I made uh, for the fan because I wanted air to come in directly to the fans. Cool air from the outside to come in directly. It's not necessary, but I know it's the appearances, you know, can be deceiving, I guess, because it looks crappy. But it, it does the work, the functional work I wanted to do. And up here I have the blower fan. Um, it barely fit on it, but uh, and I made a shroud here to direct a uh, duct. I'm sorry, to direct the fan directly to the heat sink. I install uh to the heat sink of the GPU. This is the 750 Ti, the uh, low profile edition. Uh, the MSI two gigabytes. Uh, so yeah, I had to remove the fan uh that I had on there. And the fan basically removed a half an inch from the t overall uh, height of the car, or I guess depth, you can say, uh, from here to here. So when the fan is on, it couldn't fit, but I had to remove the fan to fit here. And uh, yeah, here's like a half an inch of clearance. So from the PCIe slot to there, so I had to remove it. And I kind of assume when I'm coming into it. Also, I made this cardboard duct I know is rigged, but it does the job and it's a duct directly that goes to the, the blower fan to the GPU and it basically, you know, blows air directly on the fan, heat fans to distribute the heat and then on the top part it has some vents. If you can see the little holes, it will fit perfectly. Uh, so yeah, it... It was, the, it was a pretty easy job. I mean, the hard drive. I know the wiring sucks, I know. But, you know, it, it worked. And I'll give you another look. Alright, guys. Now, at this moment, I'm just going to remove the hard drive or the CD drive. And just so you can see what I did to it. Yes, I put electrical tape throughout the whole system. But the system worked perfectly. Uh, the only downfall is the upgrade of the CPU is the only really thing that's holding it back along with the RAM memory, the DDR2 memory that comes with this particular, uh, what's it called, this particular uh, PC. But here I'm removing the hard drive and that's pretty 128 or 120, I always forget, uh, yeah, I always forget. Anyways, uh, these are the, this is the CD drive. I mean, I decided to leave it on there because I'd still use it for DVDs and watch movies or, you know, it comes with the system. I took the hard drive off of here, but I still have it. I can use it as backup for later on. But here you can see the, the fan that I installed here. And also, these are the wires. Okay, I thought I added the Molex cables. I didn't need to add it. I guess if I wanted to... Uh, to add the hard drive, I can use the Molex cables and top of it with the CD drive, but I didn't. I don't use it, so it was it. Just you know, I guess you can you put it if you want the extra hard drive, two hard drives. But again, this motherboard particularly has two uh, SATA ports or SATA drives uh, connections, so you either have to choose two hard drives or one hard drive and the CD drive. So it's up to you. And uh, all right. This is the little rigged, ghetto rigged duct I made. I know it's not the most beautiful, but hey, uh, that's what I had to deal with. So, uh, this is the duct. I had to also um, connect the connection directly to the GPU. I mean, I guess you can put it to the CPU fan. It depends what you want, particularly, but I did it directly to the. I mean, yeah, it's rigged. But the, the air duct that I. That I have made. Let me see if I, unless I put too much tape. But anyways, it's it's closed. There's a. Let me see if I can remove this real quick. Uh, give me a second. So, it's an air duct. 
Sorry about that. It's an area that completely closes. It's a housing that closes. I didn't put nothing on this side because the connections for the for the power buttons are there. So, but it basically closes the duct. So here is where the blower goes through here and blows through there, and then it directly blows on top of the heat sink. So it blows directly on top of it, and then. I put the top part because it was escaping through those holes, so it was I went it was going threat hit in here, so path of least resistance, so you know fluid dynamics, I guess it would escape through this they're going through the fins. I wanted to force the air through the fins, so that's why I made this. If people can uh three d print or make a better version of the cardboard, but I just did it right away, so it, it works perfectly. This is the best design out of all of them, so you need a direct duct. Uh, you don't need this. This this is just me that I made it. I had extra cardboard. Um, this is the GPU. I'm gonna take it out. All right, guys. Uh, I removed the screws back here. It was too. Uh, this is just uh. Right, there we go. That's just the uh, low profile brackets that I installed. All right. Let me see if I can remove this carefully. I'm not trying to damage anything. Especially in this small chassis. Alright. So here I've removed the GPU. This is again the 750 uh, Ti. So this is the actual GPU. And uh, these are the heat fins. And at, fir at first I had it like this. But it was very difficult because of the, the power plugs to put it directly on top of it. And then the size of this is pretty... Pretty decent size, like close to a half an inch in height. So this is about a bit the same distance as that. And uh, yeah, I had it rewire the connections. That was easy. I just removed the plugs and then cut the Molex cable that was connected to the that came with the air duct. All right, guys, let's have a closer look at the GPU and what I did to it. Um, I basically removed the fan, the stock fan that came with the GPU which had two uh, screws on each side, two Phillips screws on each side, and total four. And I basically removed those screws and disconnected the the connection to the fan, to the mother, to the board, to the GPU board. That came right off. It has silicone, so it came right off. And what I did is put that down, did not mess with the GPU at all afterwards. And the connection... What I did is splice the connection, which is the same connection that's on here right now currently. And splice that and use that con same connection for the, the blower fan, which the blower fan came with a Molex adapter. Came with a Molex adapter. And that I spliced off and installed and connected to the, the connection, the stock connection of the stock fan and used that. Because I did not want the mother, I did not, I wanted the GPU to have control over the fan. And I wanted, you as, I wanted to use MSI Afterburner to have control over the fan if I overclock, which I'm not overclocking this. But if people do decide to overclock, it, it pretty much works. And other than that, everything worked out perfectly. I mean, you know, it, it have no faults on it, no shorts, nothing. If you know what you're doing, maybe parents or somebody that you know knows what they're doing so maybe they can help you out and hopefully you know you have an idea of what i did to it Alright guys, now that I've removed the hard drive, the CD drive, the graphics card, the blower fan that I had installed, don't mind this rig duct that I made. And uh, this pretty much, I mean the whole system, don't mind these, this is just that I changed the LEDs, the green LEDs that came with the PC, I had some red LEDs laying around. Again. I was in a hurry to make this video, and I'll probably put shrink wrap that I have and do it right. But that's basically, I just taped it to, to so it won't short out. 
but yeah, the, I mean, that's the red LEDs, don't mind that. But yeah, uh, the GPU fits perfectly here. You had to remove the fans, that, the stock fan. And put a blower fan on it. I know a lot of people. If you look on Amazon for the for the blower fan and look at the reviews, people have pictures also of different ways they rig their GPU or used how they use that particular blower fan. So, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty simple. This is a project of mine that I wanted to do, and it turned out good. I uh, wish it was more powerful, of course. For this type of rig is, you know, what's holding it back is the CPU, it, which is the AMD, uh, AMD 225, not sure, uh, I can't even remember the old CPU, but it came, it was a single uh, CPU, now I put it to a dual UPU, uh, CPU, sorry. So it, the project turned out good. Uh, I mean, it works fine, it does what it needs to do, it's a lot faster, especially with the SSD. I didn't spend a lot of money particularly on this project. I think the most I spent was on the GPU. And that's it. And, I mean, again, the parts that you spend the most on this rig is on the GPU, SSD. At least I did. And then the CPU and the RAM, the extra RAM that I installed. I bought it on, I bought the RAM brand new because it's really cheap, like $10. And the CPU, again, is like $10. So I spent $20. On this particular, a little over twenty dollars with shipping and handling, with this particular project that I know I cannot use in any other PC. I mean, that I won't use in any other PC. So unless it's a new PC, I, you know, I'll do something else on that. But in the meantime, uh, that's all.